Hey everyone, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. In this video, I am discussing one of my favorite tools that I use for either creating or being productive. At one point, I was searching for a tool where I could easily create high quality GIFs, mainly for use in things like blog posts or technical documentation. And this is one that I stumbled upon and now use in my everyday toolbox. It's called ScreenPal, but was formerly known as Screencast-O-Matic. I use ScreenPal a lot at work for one, making it easier to communicate in a remote work environment and it can make it easier to explain something if your main forms of communication are things like chat and email and then also for documentation it can be useful to include gifs or videos inside of documentation to quickly demo something and this is an example where i used it in one of my blog posts I use ScreenPal also for personal use. I've used it for editing certain parts of coding videos in the past like this one. However, lately I mainly just use it for my YouTube shorts for adding a demo portion to my code snippets and tips like these, for example. As an example, I created a sample blog post entitled it how to log into GitHub. Let's say I also wanted to add in a GIF to go along with the instructions. I can easily do it with ScreenPal. In the ScreenPal application, it has a record option. And once hitting record, it will bring up the tool and you can either have it record the entire screen or just crop out the part of the screen you want. So I'm now on github.com and I wanna do a quick recording on how to log into the website. And I only wanna show that part of the screen. and then I'll click the record button. And if I need to move the frame to a different part of the screen, I'll need to pause the recording to move it. So I've already paused it. And then resume when ready. So I'm done recording and I'll click the done button and I can edit the recording as needed. And there's a lot of different editing options. Like for this one, I wanna cut out the part where I stopped recording and then restarted it. So I'm gonna cut that part out. I can also cut out part of the beginning one thing about GIFs is it's good to keep them as short as possible for quality reasons and it's just good to keep it short. And once I'm ready to save the GIF, I'll click on done editing video and then save the video file in the format that I need. And in this case, it'll be a GIF. So type GIF, publish, now I'll add it to my sample blog post. And so now I have a nice GIF to go along with the blog post. I also have another sample blog post called creating a GitHub repo. And for this example, I will create a short video to add to the post, so it's the same steps as the GIF. And now I'll make whatever video edits I would like to add. ScreenPal has a lot of tools and editing options. If you wanna narrate your video, you can. There's overlays where you can add in shapes, like arrows to point to things. You can add sound, music, sound effects. Um, in this case, I'm gonna add in an edit to zoom in on the screen a little bit, especially for parts that are harder to see that are important to the video. So there's a cropping tool that I'm gonna use. And with crop, you just set a start and end for that particular edit. 
So at the beginning of the crop, I want it to be zoomed in. And so now that part of the screen will be zoomed in. The reason I just updated that is that I preferred that slowly zooming in effect. So you can do it that way. And then I'll add another cropping point that will zoom it back out to the normal screen. And one other thing I'll add is music to this demo. So there's a lot of different edits you can make to the video. And now um, I'll save this as an MP4 file. So I'm gonna change the type from GIF to MP4 and publish. So I've now added the video to my sample blog post. And now I have a nice video to go along with this post. So that's one of my daily go-to tools for both creating and being productive, both professionally and personally. Also, let me know in the comments if you have a go-to tool for creating things like screen recordings and GIFs. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.